Hello everyone, welcome to the video. This video is regarding what to do in last one month. Now almost a month is left for the NEET 2023 examination which will be held on May 7th. So let's discuss what to be done in this last month. What all to be done to score the maximum marks in NEET 2023 examination. If you have anything to ask, you can ask me through Instagram. My Insta ID is displayed on the screen. So let's begin. First and foremost, the most important is giving mock tests. Now coming to the mock test, you can give part test or full test. Prefer giving full test as the time is uh, less. The limiting time is provided only one month is left. So try giving maximum full tests. At least give one in two or three days. And giving test is not only the thing, you should analyze the test. Analysis of each question is mandatory. You should analyze each and every question and also analyze the skipped questions. In the optional part, you might have skipped various questions. Just go through the topics you have skipped, what reason you have skipped and if you are not thorough with the skipped questions, you should revisit the topics and improve your concepts. Skip the irrelevant questions. If they are not based in the syllabus, you can skip those irrelevant questions. Next, coming to the revision, which also plays a major role. You need to revise all your notes, might be the lecture notes you have prepared or PPTs or any kind of notes you have done, you need to revise mainly the formulas which you will forget or the complex formulas and the data which you need to remember like the dates or scientists names or any kind of compositions mainly the organic chemistry reactions inorganic chemistry compositions all these things you need to remember you need to revise lecture notes So as already mentioned, you should go through regularly go through the notes or the PDF which you are referring and also continuous revision of data and complex formulas. Data in the sense the numericals or the number related things, the dates, the year, all these things. Next the main thing NCRT, mainly for the biology. You should read both the first the 11th and 12th you should be thorough in both the NCERTs and also for inorganic chemistry NCERT is a must book for the inorganic chemistry and all the others even organic chemistry reactions are only from the NCERT and also for the physical chemistry, solid state, most theory based aspects, surface chemistry and various theory based topics might be the modern physics, even the theories, all the theory based topics need to be read from the NCRT itself. Next, coming to the previous year questions, previous year questions also play a major role. Only the relevant previous year questions must be solved, mainly for the biology, only after 2013 questions need to be solved and other chemistry and physics, most of the questions could be solved. But don't go to the questions which are not relevant, which are not in the syllabus. Next, if you are done with all these, then you can try solving J means previous year questions. It will help to boost your physics and chemistry a level higher than the NEET which will help you in the NEET exam. So solving J means P by Q previous questions if you are completed with all these previous aspects. Now at last come into the 
expected cutoff of all india institute of medical sciences new delhi aims new delhi unreserved cutoff all india rank 61 neat score 700 ews economically weaker section all india rank 195 neat score 696 obc rank 242 690 SC 965 score 677 and ST 3087 and score 657 this is the cut off of previous year this year it will be almost the same so to get a seat in aims delhi if you are unreserved you need to score above 700 EWS above 695 OBC 690 SC around 675 and ST around 660 So this is about this video. Thank you for watching the video and do subscribe and like the video. Thank you.